Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the mechanical power input. The mechanical power input value is mechanical power input value is mechanical power input value. This is the mechanical power input. This, that is E V by Z S cos theta minus del minus E square by Z S cos theta. Now we will find out condition for maximum mechanical power developed. So next is we will discuss about condition for maximum mechanical power developed. Mechanical power developed. So so in order to get maximum mechanical power, we have to differentiate the mechanical power with respect to del d mechanical power by d del equal to zero so then so by differentiating this term we will get like this so ev by z s is constant here ev by z s is constant and cos theta minus del will become sin theta minus del and for theta minus del we will get minus 1 because we are doing for del and e square by z is constant is the 0 it is the 0 0 and total value is the 0 so finally we will get sin theta minus del equal to 0 so here sin theta minus del will be equal to the sin 0 so here the theta minus del value equal to 0 from this we will write del equal to theta del equal to theta this substitute in place of del value theta we will get like this the maximum mechanical power so here from the mechanical power we will substitute the value so here we have the mechanical power equation in this we will substitute ev by zs cos theta minus theta ev by zs cos theta minus theta minus here e square by z s e square by z s cos theta e square by z s cos theta so here cos theta minus theta will become cos 0 it will become the cos theta so finally we will get the equation is like this that is e v by z s cos theta minus theta will cos 0 that is 1 minus e square by z s cos theta z s cos theta so from this we can modify the equation again that is if armature resistance approximately zero then the synchronous impedance z s will become z s will become synchronous reactance then the impedance angle theta will become the 90 degrees so from this we will write the mechanical power equal e v by excess e v by excess we substitute in the mechanical power we will get E V by excess sin del sin del because this is the formula here you substitute the 90 minus 10 here 90 degrees and cos 90 0 then it will become sine so finally you will get the mechanical power value equal to E V by excess sin del not mechanical power this is the maximum mechanical power we are getting the maximum mechanical power by differentiating the mechanical power with respect to load angle 
Why the load angle? Load angle is the variable term. So this is the formula for the maximum mechanical power. Maximum mechanical power. Okay. Next. So here, here the next topic is power versus load angle and torque versus load angle. So generally, you know the formula of the power, the power equal to the power equal to the power value equal to EV by excess sin del excess sin del so by modifying this we will get the maximum power with respect to sin del okay yes generally if you if you draw the waveform then the waveform is sinusoidal why it is sinusoidal because here p max is the constant term and the sin del by varying the load angle this is the sine so it is a sinusoidal torque okay next torque generally torque you know the relation between power and the speed power and the speed so here power equal to ev by excess into power sin del okay ev by excess in w we will get we will write the direct short uh, constant torque maximum torque sin del okay this is also the sinusoidal waveform sinusoidal waveform so here the power versus load angle is the sinusoidal as well as torque versus load angle also the sinusoidal load angle also the sinusoidal right but if you observe here the maximum power is higher value compared with the maximum torque how because here p max this is only the ratio but for t max w will be uh, divided by the w that's why this is the low value so if you draw the power versus load angle the curve is like this this is the blue curve so blue curve is power versus and the load angle is vary from 0 to 90 degrees and 90 to 180 degrees and it will reach the peak point that is the maximum power reach the maximum power if the low this is for up to this up to 90 degrees up to 90 degrees of the load angle the system will be acting in stable mode and here also so this is for stable mode up to this point up to this point this is the stable mode of operation stable mode of operation okay and the most important thing is generally for generators for generators load angle 0, 0 to 180 like this for motors for motors it is for motors this will be like this this is 0 to again this is 0 to 180 and for the mode this is also up to the 90 degrees and up to the 180 degrees so this region this part to this part completely about generator and this part to this part completely about the motor okay completely about the motor okay and so this is for complete the power information what about torque look at the torque so this complete black line so this complete blocking related to torque just look at here so torque has some low value whenever for generator the torque will be like this 
so this is called maximum torque for the generator and this region is for the motor 0 to 90 degrees it is in stable mode it is in the stable mode um, and for this this is the for the motor this is the maximum torque so this is the for the motor this is the maximum power maximum torque and the maximum power okay this is also del this complete information regarding the generator this complete information regarding the motor okay so this is the curves these are the curves between the power and the load angle and torque and the load angle here also power and the load angle torque and the load angle okay so this is about maximum condition for the maximum mechanical power and maximum mechanical power formula and power versus load angle and torque versus load angle i hope all of you understand the session thank you